Here we are reviewing the OFKP Full HD Media Player MP018. Looks like it says uh, it's a Full HD, supports popular videos. Looks like you can import your own like photos, music, and movies. Supports many audio files, picture files, video formats. And the same thing on the other side. Let's see what's inside. So, we have the media player and some little foam rubber. This isn't very big, it's like the size of my hand. So, you can see that. Let's see, it has some buttons on it, back button. So the infrared thing on the front for remote. So you got power, audio, video, uh, the YPRPB, and it's like a power on and off. You have a SD card slot, a USB slot and an HDMI slot, so pretty simple, pretty uh, lightweight, let's see what else is in the box, got the manual, some instructions, they open up backwards, it says please pay attention to the notes before using it to prevent blah 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 blah. <clears throat> Let's see different all the different stuff about it. Let's show some of the screens settings. Let's see what else is in this box. We got a power adapter. Turn it on. We got a remote. Let's see here. And you need no batteries, so you'll need two, it looks like, AAA batteries. Kind of typical for a remote, AAA batteries. We got movie, music, photos. Got several different options here. And then an audio, video cable. Looks, uh, looks like it plugs into that YR or whatever. BRB, blah, 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 blah. So. That's it. Just these couple things here with your instruction booklet. Let's go hook it up and see what it's all about. So basically it defaults to this screen. I don't have anything in, so not a lot I guess you can do here. Let's see. No. Just keeps asking for the if there's anything in there, let's see what the settings has. So it looks like it's basically a translation. Oh, there we go, some color. So the first thing you have to do, because it is from China, come in here and change your settings. So it was on PAL, change it to NTSC get some power out of, or color out of it and it looks basically like you're going to have to use this basically like you can put a video on an SD card or it looks like you can even put it on a USB drive or um, external hard drive then you can play it through this so if you don't have like a blu-ray you can play it through this play a movie looks like there's several settings in here so there now that we kind of fix the colors you got some colors now you can't really see them as well on the screen through the camera for some reason but we do have colors so basically you just you can use this as a gateway so those of you who have digital movies and all that stuff, family movies, pictures, whatever, 
but throw your SD or thumb drive in here. You click whatever category it falls into. So if it's a music, you click into the music and then it asks you USB or CD-ROM, which I don't know about the CD-ROM thing, but you can come in here and play the play it through here. So if you don't have a Blu-ray or something, it helps you out for sure. So smart TV, anything. Um, it's a nice little device. That way you can see all your movies and music and pictures and I'm sure it has probably a uh, was an auto rotated picture so you can use it as a big picture frame basically for birthdays and stuff so go out and some you need pick one up fairly uh, priced competitive and all that kind of stuff so simple device probably doesn't use a whole lot of power either so uh, pick one up